Hello. Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to your class. This is your class number five. Yes, it's the first week. Hi, how are you, Rafael? Are yeah, you okay? I'm good. Okay, did you have a lot of things to do today? Uh, yes, oh, I, okay. I have. In the office or out of the, out of the office? The office teacher. Okay. Just work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Jose Miguel. Welcome. How are you today? How do you feel? I'm fine. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit tired. Oh, yeah. I know. Today is Friday. <laughs> yes. Of yes, course. but this is uh, more for my PC. Oh, your. Brain no, or, or my computer? PC. Oh, okay. Yeah. My I was my principal. Uh, the problem is my principal PC, my principal computer, actually is in maintenance. I don't. Oh, know, maintenance. Maintenance. Uh -huh. maintenance. Uh huh. And uh, actually now I working with the PC. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I use I usually use when I was in the. Now we know what kind Hello. of PC you have. <laughs> yeah, because it, you got I frozen, so I couldn't hear the rest of what no. you were saying. I'm sorry. Uh, we couldn't hear what you said. It was not possible. Yeah, you got frozen. Yeah. Yeah. For that reason, I turn off the camera. I only speak. Okay, yeah. I can understand because you know I and I, I a few months ago I had this computer. Uh, it doesn't look like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one, right? Uh huh. And oh my goodness, your classmates are are witnesses. Yeah, I know. that I, know. I had trouble after trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I have then, problem. But the next Monday I. I will have my, my your computer back. My my computer back there. Yeah. Great. My principal great. PC. Yeah. I will be free. Yes. Uh huh. It's because of all the new features of the software, right? Because nothing or you can't install anything. Uh, update it, right? You cannot update anything because of the software. They are not compatible with the old hardware. So yeah, that's that's really a big problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big, that's a big mostly problem. for work. Mostly for work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's expressive. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, it is. Okay, people. Hello, everybody, and welcome. 
I know that today is Friday, but we are going to uh, try to complete the activity we started yesterday. Uh, allow me just to start with a little feed, a short feedback about vocabulary, some structures, and also we want to talk about the SWOT analysis in a different way. And also we are going to see some study cases. Also we're going to see uh, in the real life, how can you see yourself through that analysis, right? Through that model. It's a really important model that you can run on your own personality traits because you can improve your strengths or you are going to detect what's not working uh, with yourself to succeed in life or to succeed in your career, right? So you can run a SWOT analysis, a personal one. Okay, let's start by calling the attendance because that's the requirement. So please turn your cameras on and when I call your name, please you say present. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martinez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Edwin. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva, José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla, Osman Atilio Serrano. Presente. Okay. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Nancy. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Okay, Rosa, welcome. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Okay, then. We are continuing with this. Una joven de Encontramos los cadáveres que camino aquí. Media docena de hombres. Tus mejores cazadores. Obviamente tu vida. No pensé que me ibas a los matar a solas. Okay, people, we are going to run a kind of SWOT analysis over... Okay, I will try to send it through the WhatsApp, okay? Allow me to do that. Could you please check your audios? Papi, 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 papi,
Okay, there you go. Well, I will send this uh, picture. Oh, I sent a, a song over there, right? But I'm going to send you, send you this picture. Okay, and we want to discuss this. Because when we talk about the SWOT analysis, it's also applicable to us. We can apply this uh, to people. Yesterday we were saying that, that we can apply this to our workforce in the company. We can apply this to our managers or um, segments in the company of people, of course. So we are going to see this personality trait quiz and we are going to see what kind of personality do we, I mean, we have. For example, uh, it says that there is a super achiever person, okay? Someone who is getting the goals that uh, he's proposing, right? A uh, cool and steady type, so a really focused person, um, estable. And another person that is easygoing or Mm, that they don't care about what people say, okay? So let's go and check this. And let's read. For example, number one, hagamos este quiz para ver cómo salimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Si en nuestros rasgos de personalidad encontramos algo que nos pueda for, eh, hacer, o, o pare, perdón, podamos definir cuáles son nuestras fortalezas, nuestras debilidades y... También nuestras amenazas, ¿verdad? O eh, nuestras oportunidades que podamos tener. Vamos a ver entonces. Por ahí les mandé el picture. ¿Ya lo tienen por ahí? Yes. Vale, la vamos a ir leyendo una por una, pero ustedes la van eh, agarrando ahí, vayan anotando a un ladito, ¿ok? Si la pueden editar ahí, pues está bien. <clears throat> Number one, it says, when you work on a big project, do you try to finish it as quickly as possible? Do you work at it over a long period of time? Do you put it off as long as possible? You mark it, okay? Okay, number two. ¿Por cuál van ya? A ver. Ya van terminando ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pero ya la tienen ahí enfrente, ¿verdad? Ya llegaron, ya la están viendo. No me dejen solita, jóvenes. Yes. Actually, uh -huh. in the question number five. Oh, okay. Uh huh. There is where you are at. Okay. Vamos a ver. La número dos dice: When you do an assignment, do you try to do a first class job so people will notice? Do you do it as well as you can without worrying too much about it? Or do you do only what you must to get it done? No, I, I really can't think about that. <laughs> uh -huh. Number three, when faced with a difficult challenge, do you look forward to facing it? Do you worry about dealing with it? Do you try to avoid it? ¿Cómo?
¿Cómo vamos? Great day, teacher. Uh, Hi, what? Wilber. What go to the to WhatsApp. Go to the WhatsApp. There we have a personality quiz. And we are trying to run a FODA or a SWAT, right? A FODA in Spanish, a SWAT in English. But yeah. from yourself. Okay. All right. Estábamos leyendo, ahorita íbamos en la 2, ¿verdad? Bueno, yo les he leído en la 2. Ustedes ya van bien adelante, ¿sí? Ya van terminando todo, Wilber. Hoy sí me lo dejaron. Mírenlos, mírenlos, mírenlos cómo están. Les creí que ya van terminando. <risa> yes. Okay, no problem. Ok, ok. A ver, díganme, sí, teacher, ya terminamos. Va, ya, pasemos a la otra actividad. Anda molestando, just joking. <risa> Okay, vamos. Ana Lorena, go to the WhatsApp. There we have a personality quiz, okay? And we are uh, trying to step or to run um, SWOT analysis from yourself, okay? Okay, I will read question number four. It says, do you think the best way to get the most out of a day is to do as many things as possible? Take your time to get things done. Do only those things you really have to. When you need to be, number five, a big task, do you do it yourself? Do you work with others to get it done? Or do you not do it? I usually, well, I don't want to say, but we have to say it, okay? We have to say it. This is our culture. Number six, number six, what does number six say? When something doesn't work out the way you want it, do you get angry with yourself and others? Do you think calmly about what, you, what to do next? Mm, do you give up because it wasn't important anyway? No tengan pena, tiene, eh, si hay algo que no se comprende, por favor, díganme. Teacher, y en la número tal, esta parte, ¿qué? ¿Ok? It is really understandable, but I think that we, we might have on that, some doubts. Did you finish? Who finished? Did you, Rafael? Not yet? Okay. Jose Salvador, how's it going? Not yet? Okay. A ver, todos en el WhatsApp, everybody. Tell me, Jose Miguel. I'm done. Are you done? Okay. I'm done too. Great, Carlos Eduardo. Mm -hmm. I'm done and I'm scared. <laughs> What's what's your scoring? Mm, equal A and B. That's the problem. Let me check. Okay, so super achiever, cool and steady type. All right. Uh huh. Because first the answer is is an easy going or carefree type. Okay. Mm hmm.
What is the mean for the steady type? Steady es como estable, mm, oh, okay. equilibrado, digamos. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. ¿En cuál nos quedamos leyendo? ¿En cuál vamos? ¿Cómo vamos, Ana Lorena? How's it going? Ignite. Okay. <laughs> All right. How do you feel now that you faced this personality quiz? ¿Cómo se sienten al haber contestado este examen de personalidad, test de personalidad? A ver, cuéntenme, ¿qué eh, características eh, are you worried about? What are good characteristics? Do you think that a super achiever is a good personality? Or do you think that, why not, Ana Lorena? Because he is a stressful man uh, or, or, woman or woman that yeah. want all quickly and maybe fast. Uh, no, uh, he want all fast. And he don't think the anything that he do and he don't listen the others co-workers other opinions right uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. yeah that's mm -hmm. correct 
That's correct. What do you think about that, Jose Salvador? What do you think? Is a, a super achiever a good personality? Mm, I, I don't know that is super achiever, come on. Super achiever is like a perfectionist. Is that person who wants to succeed in everything and is very competitive and he wants to be the one, okay, uh, to triumph, get and get there and beyond. That's a super achiever. El que siempre quiere ganar. Sometimes is a disadvantage. Advantage, a disadvantage or advantage? Disab disadvantage. Mm -hmm. How come? Because uh, solo uno puede hacer las cosas bien, los demás no. ¿Cómo puedo decir eso? Okay, only one wants only one. to be the best. Okay, uh -huh. only you want to do the things. You don't want help. Yeah, you don't want help. Okay, but now. A ver, trate de decírmelo ahora usted en inglés, José Salvador. Only. Only. Uh -huh. Only one. Uh, yes, only one wants to one, do two. the things. Do the thing. Yes, without help. No quiere ayuda de nadie. Right? He doesn't want any help. Without any help. Without sin any help. help. Uh -huh. Eso significa sin ayuda. Okay, without any help. Someone raised your hand. Who was it? I'm sorry, I didn't realize who was it. Me. Okay, please, Carlos Eduardo, come on, give us your opinion. Uh, I think that sometimes it's advantage because the, the kind of people uh, can work like supervisor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, if that's correct. Mm -hmm. It can have like some characteristics good for that job position. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could be an advantage. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Hosman? What do you think about a carefree type person? Okay, in my case, uh, the super achiever. Super achiever. Um, super achiever. Super achiever. Um, really is very interesting from. In my case, I am the practice the, the only question. Um, I'm practicing my job. Is and my relation in the moment I uh, read the leg, uh, read the question that quick. Um, my uh, my ubication in my in my activities and um, really very very important uh, the activity on the cohort and um and practice activity and really is is the job to work in my case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, is mm, that you try to get the goal by yourself and mm -hmm. because you are learning something, uh, but you say about, um, I don't know if it was ubiquity or ubicación. I, I couldn't achieve that, I couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I read the question. Uh, my uh, my mente. My mind. My mind. Uh, the ubication in my job in this moment. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 one, one uh, uh, cada una de las de las preguntas. Each one of the questions. Is one one the question. Um, in, the mo in this moment. 
Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's where that's our life. The work is our yeah. life, and usually is there where you measure our characteristics, where we measure our strengths, and yeah. is that what we live for? Yeah. Actually, we have to work for living instead of living for work, but that's yeah. correct yes because you want to succeed in your career that's why you're always thinking in your job and yes this personality quiz is for people who work okay for people who work okay now guys entre todas estas between all these characteristics you read in this quiz which ones do you think they are Strengths, strengths, que son fortalezas. A ver, leamos el quiz y busquemos um, características, characteristics of personality, I mean, traits of personality that become strengths, que son de verdad una fortaleza para alguien. A ver. Um, for example, the the number one, mm -hmm. trying to do the 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 work very quickly is important. Maybe the commitment with something. Yes, to be committed. Mm -hmm. Also to finish quickly. Uh, usually if you are committed, you are going to finish the activity that you are responsible for. Okay, so yes, yeah, those are some strengths. And what other characteristics, characteristics do you see that are strengths? For example, listen and participate in the conversation. It's and the number number 10 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to listen and to participate in the conversation yes it's really important if you participate in the conversation without asking i mean without being asked for an opinion i think that will that won't be a good characteristic of you right it's going to be a bad personality trait they are going to say metido, right? Or something like that. But it's a strength when you step up the small talk to the smart talk. That's a strength. That's a strength. But the other way, I think it's like a threat instead of a, a, instead of a, a weakness. Oh, yeah, maybe it could be a weakness, and it could be it, it it could become an opportunity to learn not to do that, right? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. to have an opinion, to have an opinion, but to listen to others. Yes, that's a strength. Mm -hmm. What other thing do you think it's a strength? Another maybe talk. I'm sorry, uh, did you say something, uh, Jose Miguel? Yeah, another maybe could be in the third question. When faced with a difficult challenge, do you look forward to facing it? That mm -hmm. uh, for me, meaning that you never surrender and in front of any difficult. Very, very good. important in the world. Mm -hmm. You are brave. You are brave and responsible. Everything uh, comes back to responsibility, right? to have done everything that you must do. Must do. A ver, eh, Jose Salvador was saying something. Think calm, calm. Mm -hmm. What number? Number six. Number six, uh-huh. It says when something doesn't work out the way you want it, do you get angry with yourself and others? Do you think, oh, calm? Yes, calmly. 
only could be a strength, right? Because anything can be happening around you, but you remain calm. Even though sometimes, <laughs> well, for me, that's really difficult. For me, it's really difficult to stay quiet or to be calm. Yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Is it easy to stay calmly? Uh, that things is learning. Oh, yes. I think yeah. so. Yes, as a pastor in church said something that I remember really well, and I changed my prayers and I said uh because I always said oh lord give me patience but the pastor told me don't ask for patience ask for tolerance okay so <laughs> I had to change that because I'm not calm okay I, every time yeah I explode I blow everything out yes what about you guys tell me tell me what other of those characteristics do you have and in in you think they are strengths? A ver. ¿Qué otras características de esas creen que son fortalezas, por lo menos de ustedes? Patient, patient to others. Especially when you work with others. With people, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Patience, okay, to be patient. Not to be a patient, right? To be patient, <laughs> to be patient. <laughs> or to have patience, yeah. <laughs> because to be a patient is to be in a hospital, okay. So let's continue, guys. Now we know that we can run a SWOT analysis over ourselves, over our own personality, because the purpose that we have in life is to succeed in our careers. It's to succeed in our job positions. If we don't examine ourselves, then we are not going to detect any problem. And maybe we are not going to listen to other people um, telling us the things. Unless we see inside out, then we are going to uh, detect. Uh, but guys, what of those characteristics in the personality trait do you think is a threat for you? A threat, una amenaza para ustedes, a threat for you. Go and check in the personality quiz. What characteristics do you think are threats? Mm -hmm. Which one? I think that one of them could be give up, the number six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, to give up, it could be a threat because maybe when you give up, you are not going to go over the challenge and then maybe you could lose even money, to lose not only time, but money. Yeah, you're right. You're right, that could be a threat. And also if you give up, give up, Maybe you are not going to fight for your own rights. For example, at work, maybe your rights can be a um, mis you can be mistreated in uh, uh, in the work environment. But if you give up, then you are not going to fight for your own rights. And it's important for us to fight for our own, our own rights. And our jobs, like mm, uh, labor rights, okay, labor rights. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And usually if you give up, you are not going to succeed. De, se dice, verdad, que el que no arriesga no gana. Entonces, eh, if you give up, then maybe you are not going to earn anything, you are not going to win, you are not going to uh, have any success. Okay, so let's go and see some case studies because we were saying that SWAT means strengths. What else? W stands weakness. for 
witness. Mm -hmm. And opportunities. Okay, O stands for opportunities, then? Threat. C stands for threats. Okay, así lo vamos a decir. S stands for strengths. A ver, todos. S stands yes. for, for, for friends. 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 Uh -huh. No podemos decir strengths, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir strengths. Strengths. Strength. Strength. Yes. Strength. Uh -huh. Okay. S stands for strengths. W stands for weaknesses. O stands for opportunities. opportunities. Okay. And T stands for, for threats. threats. Ok, yo ya me lo puedo, necesito oírlos que ustedes se lo pueden. A ver, vamos. I need to hear you guys. S stands for S stands for strength. 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 W stands for weaknesses. O stands for opportunities. T, T, T stands for treats. Okay, not treats, because treats es otra right. cosa, ¿verdad? So, así, miren, la TH, la TH right. voy a poner en el chat. Ya, eh, espero que a este momento sepamos que la TH tiene dos sonidos. Vaya, vale, vamos a ver acá lo voy a poner. <coughs> TH has two sounds, a strong yeah. one yeah, and a soft one. The strong one is así, ve. Eh? No importa que cuando lo estén aprendiendo a hacer, mm -hmm. escupan, okay? It doesn't matter. You can spit it out. Like, mm -hmm. I want to see you guys. No. Threats. No. Threats. Threats. Okay, clean up the screen. Don't worry. Clean it up. Uh -huh. Clean the microphone. <laughs> clean the microphone. Yeah. Give, a, um, give an umbrella to everybody over there. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> okay, but it's really important. It's really important for us to learn that sound. Even though we're not going to make it. Maybe when we listen to those sounds, we are going to know that they are making these sounds threats. Porque si no vamos a estar esperando que digan threats y no existe esa palabra, ¿ok? Sino okay, que es threats. Ok, right. bueno. Uh, strengths. Strengths es como que le pusiera una D como la que hacemos en español nosotros. Aquel día dijimos, digan dedo, dedo, dedo. Así, en esa posición vamos a, hacer, a poner la lengua. Cuando digamos strengths, ¿ok? Friends. Vamos. Friends. This, Friends. al final. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a hacer entonces, vamos a comenzar por esa parte de terminar lo que nos faltaba ver ahí. Porque el día de hoy, today, we have our a custom review and practice, okay? Because today is the day number five and we are ending unit one. So we are going to, we are going to practice the vocabulary, the structures, and also we are going to give our presentation, okay? Please rem remind me at 9 p.m. that we want to go to the breakout rooms to continue with the practice. Just give me one second, allow me to share the screen with you and show you and show you what's next. really funny but now when well when you have a new computer you have to get used to it right so <laughs> okay 
Okay, then our agenda for today is our feedback and also our vocabulary practice. Uh, we are going to remember some um, terms, concepts, definitions, and uh, the way this work, the process, the stages, and how do we create or how we create a new product and what's all the process that we have to follow, all the stages that we want to follow. Okay, then. Mm, then we are going to have a reading comprehension activity. That is the one that we are going to continue doing. And then we will prepare the SWOT analysis presentation and the breakout rooms. Then you come back and you are going to give your sh short SWOT analysis presentation. And we are going to discuss what you presented or your uh, conclusions. So let's think about the SWOT. Mm -hmm. Because the SWOT can be run in any, in any part of the processes uh, in a business. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it is the creation of a product or if it is the um, analysis of the behavior of people in the company or maybe the clients or the consumers' behaviors or needs or necessities, right? Um, you can run anywhere and anytime the SWOT analysis and it's in a strategy, right? So our uh, class today is to practice all the vocabulary related to that. And this is our class number five. And our, our objective is that one, to perform a presentation of a new product SWOT analysis in order to practice all the unit one target vocabulary. ¿Cuál es el objetivo? A ver, which one is the objective? Can you read it, please, Glenda? Glenda? Yes, teacher. Can you please read the objective? Objective. Mm -hmm. uh, participants will perform a presentation of the new product swarm analysis in order to practice all the unit one target vocabulary. Thank you very much. So we are applying the SWOT analysis to our new product development process. Okay, then let's go and see some, just to have, uh, a, let's say a background, where to take ideas. Uh, we said that this is a model, right? SWOT analysis is a model of, a, a, of identify or visualize the, opportunities, the strengths, the weaknesses, and the threats. Why is that? Because we want to correct the direction of the processes, or we want to correct the failures in any part of the process. So if we talk about Coca-Cola, okay, this is a famous product. Everybody knows Coca-Cola. Everybody likes Coca-Cola. So let's think about these products. Hmm. If we think about the internal analysis, the external analysis, we have to think about the strengths, weaknesses internally. And we have to think about the opportunities and threats externally, okay? So if we see over here, we have in the positive and in the negative way, we are going to see that. In the strengths, who wants to read the strengths that, that this company that ran, the, ran this analysis found? A ver, ¿quién quiere leer estas que encontró esta compañía que corrió este, que hizo este, esta investigación? A ver. No solo uno, por favor. Vaya, sí, está bien. Gracias, yes, yes, sí, yes, thank you. Okay, please, you may read. Thanks. Okay, wait, because the dogs start barking. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. Strengths. Um, most sponsored corporate partners spread across the world in 65 languages and regions. The market territory spans nearly 200 countries of five continents selling of not only cola, but also other types of beverages, long history with a certain status. 
Okay. So spread across the world in 650 languages and regions. So it's a worldwide a product, right? A worldwide company. Uh -huh. That's the strength. They have a brand positioning. Yes, that's a strength. Mm, they have a good product. That's a strength. And they have also uh, the territorial uh, positioning in the market is in around 200 countries on the five continents. Well, they say that there are six, right? But we could say on five continents. Okay. And they have a variety. They have a product line. Okay, they offer different kind of products. What other what other products do you know from Coca Cola company? They have a, a variety of colas or sodas uh, with the different numbers. For example, I think Dr Pepper is from the Coca Cola's company because they are and, partnership. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, and they introduce a new flavors of cola, like cherry and vanilla. Mm -hmm. So they and have, I, and continue. I think, but I don't know, I'm not sure if Lipton is part of the Coca-Cola's company. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I see que me poncho. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really, we can make, we can run a, re run a research, yeah to find out who is the <laughs> owner of, of who is the producer, right? Of iced tea, lip them. Uh, but even though if they offer any other kind of beverages, like uh, I think these kind of water too, because they have bottled uh, water too. So in some companies, I'm sorry, in some countries they have partnerships. Maybe they are not the owner of the other brand, but they are, partners okay so that's a strength because they have very good a uh, yeah we could say partnering strategies mm -hmm. okay so now let's think about the weaknesses of coca-cola do you have do you think they have weaknesses let's read the weaknesses please okay jose miguel can you read the weaknesses okay no certain integration and common goal of strategic management, failure to develop new tastes, gradual transfer of customers' loyalty, and loss of market development opportunities. Okay, if there is no Coca Cola, you can buy any other beverage, right? Another comment. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, tell me. Uh, uh, Lipton is not uh, of Coca Cola oh. company. Are okay. the Lipton are sold for Pepsi? Oh, Pepsi Cola. Mm, Pepsi -Cola. Okay. Nice to know. Thank you very much, Jose Miguel, for the data. Okay. For me too. <laughs> okay. Did you Google it? Yeah. Great. I Google it Thank you. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Okay, then. Uh, I think the most important weakness. Uh, I mean, in this case, hello, Nancy. Tell me. Yes, I need to say thanks uh, for the for the, the data date <laughs> data. data. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> data. Um, yes, I confuse the brands. Uh, is Fusty the brand of the Coca Cola company? Which one? That's true. Fusty. 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 That's the name. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know that product either. Mm, okay. Oh, really? It's very I common. Yeah. <laughs> well, it really? doesn't matter. Is it tea or what? What is it? It's a tea. Feels tea. Feels tea. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I have heard about it, but I, maybe I have never tried it. Maybe I have. It's horrible. It. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yes. Seriously? Well, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, then I'm not gonna try it anyway. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, but thank you very much, Nancy. Now, what do you think, guys, um, about the weaknesses? When you are thirsty, maybe you were in a football game, okay? And they don't sell Coca-Cola anywhere. What do you drink? Hey, don't tell me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Some I of you, used, I know. <laughs> I used to drink water and Gatorade. Ah, okay. But, but Coca-Cola, no. 
Don't you drink Coca Cola? No, after a plate, no. Oh, but uh -huh, but after a game. After a game. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But uh, when I when I have a, a several thirty and I suffer of a pop, yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What about you guys? Tell me, if there is no Coca-Cola, what do you drink? What do you prefer with your pupusas? Do you prefer Coca-Cola? Hot chocolate. Oh, I chocolate. prefer coffee and coffee chocolate. And chocolate. <laughs> I prefer chocolate too. Okay, I'm so sorry to tell you guys, but I forgot that I was in an adult class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when I have uh, asked this question to adolescents, they say, no, I don't drink anything else. I just drink Coca-Cola <laughs> with my pupusas too. I prefer Coca-Cola, not other flavor. I forgot, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, I prefer hot chocolate too and I prefer coffee too with my pupusas. All right, uh, but there is something. It depends the time of the day. If it is, I don't know, maybe in the afternoon that I'm having pupusas, then I drink something cold, but something cool. But if I am having pupusas at night or in the morning, okay, then I drink hot uh, chocolate and coffee. What about you guys? The same, horchata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cebada. Delicious. Ensalada. <laughs> no. Okay, so if we think about the threats, look, the threats, they are related with the weaknesses because the threats go over the weaknesses. Our competitors go over our weaknesses. So it's the way that we want to fight in the market too with our product. We are going to go with our um, strengths over the weaknesses of my competitor. So for example, the who is the competitor of Coca-Cola? What, what is it? Which one is? Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi-Cola, yeah, Pepsi-Co. Yeah, Pepsi-Co. Big so, Cola. I'm sorry? Big Cola. Big Cola, well, in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, <laughs> Big Cola, it's because of the price. Uh, but look, if we have a Coca-Cola and Pepsi, what do you prefer? Coca-Cola. Coca I prefer Coca-Cola. Okay, you prefer Coca-Cola. If you go to Pizza Hut, for example, what do you drink? You have to, uh-huh. I prefer drinking the tea. No Coca-Cola, for I sure it's not Coca-Cola. No Coca -Cola. Uh -huh. It's famous for his tea. Yeah. Oh, yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but that, that tells you that they sell Pepsi, right? They sell Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about if you go to another place that they don't have Coca-Cola? You Please. will decide, you will choose another, you will make your choice for another one. So that's the weakness. Because of the price, because of the competitors that are really similar and they have the same uh, need of the customer met, then that's the weakness. That's the weakness. And that is why they are creating a lot of varieties to uh, call the attention of the customers, okay? But let's look at the opportunities. The opportunities they have are that they are always sponsoring the big event. Big events are sponsored by Coca-Cola. Um, famous people have uh, these partnerships for their events with Coca-Cola, okay? So they have maybe <clears throat> a greater or oh, the greatest potential customers, right? Because they don't sell only one by one. They sell in a big amount, okay? So they are not retailers. They are not retailers. 
not even Pepsi, right? So what do they have to do? To innovate, innovate and provide and provide different um, uh, products that add value to my product line or to my name or to my brand. Okay, so uh, it's nine o'clock right now, but I wanted just to see Amazon, okay? Amazon is another big, big company, yeah? And what do you think, uh, what is the competitor of Amazon? What's the big, the biggest or the real competency of Amazon? AliExpress. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm, it could be. Mm -hmm. And it started with Alibaba, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any, any e-commerce, any e-commerce site could become a threat for Amazon because um, they have a very, um, a, let's say prestige or a name of too much scams, okay? Hay mucho scam. There is a lot of scam in these sites. Maybe it's not by Amazon because they are not responsible for third parties, but they have too much third parties in their sites. So that could be a weakness. That could be a weakness. And also um, that they don't offer you a good profit, okay? They don't offer you a good profit. Okay, let's uh, see. Mm, the threats that I was talking about, the e-commerce industry barriers. Uh, you can sell only, only through internet. If the country doesn't have the um, dispositions or they don't have the devices that can be compatible with all those kind of softwares, or maybe um, there are countries that they, ¿cómo se dice eso? Betan. Mm, they block, okay, they bloquean, they block the sign, or maybe they block the commercialization of some companies of that kind, e-commerce, right? E-commerce. Um, because they have different ways of commerce and their laws are against them. Okay, so maybe that could be a threat for, even though it's a worldwide, it's a worldwide uh, company. Okay, so you see the brand identity is a strength. Pioneer advantage, of course. Cost advantage, of course. Uh, the continuous business improvement because technology is advancing uh, more and more, okay? And really quickly. Okay, then just the last thing, just the last thing and we go to the breakout rooms. So let's think about what you are going to go and do uh, to the breakout rooms. You can think about who is the consumer, okay? and your analysis, that one that you are going to go to do, to run in the breaker room. You can ask for these questions and the answer will be a very good presentation, okay? Why do you think people will consume your product, the one that you are presenting, the one that you are creating? What type of containers will you use to attract attention? How were your products different from each other? Okay, for example, if you are creating candies, if you have different presentations, if you have a different size, or if you have different amounts or, or packaging of these products, it could be a, big, a, a, a good point and it could be like a strength. For example, Price Smart, right? Price Smart have a strength, which one? that they don't, they, they are not retailers, they are distributors, okay? So, and so on, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir entonces al breakout room. Yo voy a abrir los grupos, pero ustedes se van a adherir al grupo que les tocó ayer, okay? Vamos.
Okay, a las 9 y 30, 9.30, we come back. Okay, y vamos a empezar las presentaciones at 9.30. Ok, ahí están abiertas ya las salas. Ustedes pueden adherirse a la que estaban. Y si he olvidado. Ok, ¿con quién estaba usted, José Miguel? Sin recordar. No creo que habían dos caras. A ver, vamos a hacer una cosa. A ver, Cristina Edith se va a ir al, al cuarto uno. ¿Quién está con Cristina Edith? Me. But, eh, where I can... Vale, sí, vamos a hacer así, voy a mandar aquí, la voy a, la voy a mandar yo. La voy a, o sea, ustedes se pueden ir ahí en donde dice break a room y buscan eh, la sala, el número de la sala. Por ejemplo, en el grupo 1 vamos a mandar a Cristina, todos los que estaban con Cristina se van ahí, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. No la veo, Cristina Edith, ahí está, vale. Ahí está ya ella en el grupo 1. Vamos a ver, ajá. I can see the option break our rooms. Eh, busquen en los tres puntitos. No. Uh, Not yet. No, I don't have participant chat. No les ha salido como una cosita roja ahí, un mm -hmm. message. No. Una no. advertencia no. roja. No. En el break up, abajo en el menú. No. No. Vaya, vale, teníamos a. Vaya, vale, entonces vamos a irlo haciendo así. No se preocupen, vamos bien. Entonces, Cristina ya está en el 1, ¿sí? Ahorita voy. Cristina, el 1, ya la mandamos. ¿Quién estaba con Cristina? Díganme para el 1. Mi. Eh, díganme Me. el nombre porque no estoy Lorena. en nada. Ok, vamos. Wilber también Rose. estaba. Ajá, Rose y Nancy. Si mal no ok, recuerdo. ahora las vamos a grabar para que queden ya grabadas. Loren, Ana, ¿verdad? Ana, Lorena, yes. ok. Uh -huh. Ana Lorena va para el 1. Wilber también, ¿verdad? Yes. Rose. No lo miro, Wilber. Mm. Rafael. Rosa. Rosa. Y Nancy. No, yo no. Nancy no. No, Nancy. Ok, vaya, vamos a ver. Nos queda nada más. Fátima, eh... creo. Fátima. Fátima, Noemí, ¿estaba con usted, Cristina? No. Yo creo que sí, déjeme ver. Vale, al grupo 2, al grupo 2, a ver, eh, vamos a mandar a Nelson Alberto. ¿Quiénes estaban con Nelson? Eh, Ulise, Rafael. I can remember. Salvador. José Salvador, ok. Sí. Ajá. Euliste. Y Edwin. En Edwin. Ok. En Edwin. Edwin, where are, where are you? Where are you? Ok. Ahí va ya completo ese grupo. Vaya, vamos a ver. Me queda todavía acá. Con Blanca Jennifer, ¿quién está? La vamos a mandar al grupo 3. Estaba yo, Nancy y Josman. Y otro compañero creo que no se conectó este día. Okay. Vamos, Nancy, Josman, ok. ¿Y el otro compañero era Carlos Alberto? No. ¿O sí? Raúl Ernesto. Raúl Ernesto, oh, ok, sí, no, no está. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces por acá, Carlos Alberto. Él estaba en el grupo de José Miguel, ¿verdad? Ajá, que fui, les dije yo, vaya. José Miguel lo vamos a mandar al grupo 4. Ok, va a ir ahí, que estaba ayer Carlos Alberto quien, como oyente. Eh, ¿Quién más estaba en el con José Miguel? 
¿Quién más estaba con usted, José Miguel? Ya se nos fue, José Miguel. Yo creo que estaba, estábamos los Carlos. Los Carlos, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos para allá. Nancy, los creo que era el que estaba con nosotros. Eh, Nancy Bien. ya se fue. Vaya. Glenda, ok. A Glenda. Ok, vaya Glenda, ahí está. Entonces, Ahora ya solo me queda Fátima y Karen. Vamos a ver. Ustedes no se pudieron unir ayer, ¿verdad, Karen? No pudo usted unirse con ningún grupo. ¿O sí? Karen. Y Fátima, ¿con qué grupo estaba, Fátima? Con Cristina. Con Cristina en el uno, entonces. Ok. Yeah. Ahí está. como armando un resumen. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver. Entonces, lo primero. Tengo mi cuadrito. Period, guys. Period. Okay. Okay. What do you say, Nelson? Period. Okay, man. Who is the consumer? The, the ah, people what? in the age of 30, 13 and 35 years. Yeah, but, but it's the range of consumers of the example, no is the or or product. And what is our product in the first case? Yes, we have to fill out with the information about our product, right? Yes. Yes, this is your presentation, okay? Yeah. This was only to okay. take a guide, I mean, to get them as a guide to present your own product development oh. process and your SWOT analysis of your product development process. Okay? Yes. Nice, great. Thank you, teacher. Okay. What is our our product I bought for the family yes, I can understand can you repeat uh, Edwin please so in this case because Oy. our product uh, the child uh, he can be the family, right? Whatever the age can be, you can be uh, men, women. Uh, your audio 
uh, we can understand you. Can you write in the chat, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, our target can be. Target. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Target. Young men. Young men. Young men. Women and children. Uh, yes, but what is Hello, here I am. Nice. Just a tiempo. <laughs> yes, just in time. Uh, tell me, how can I assist you here? Okay, teacher, solo una preguntita. Tenemos una inquietud. Eh, vamos a trabajar según la descripción de lo que aquí tenemos de esta información o de lo que había dicho ayer de que pensáramos en una idea. No, exactamente, estamos trabajando en nuestro producto nuestro. que estamos, en nuestro okay. producto, en su producto, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. This is the product development process of your own product and you are running a SWOT analysis. Ok. Uh -huh. Lo que vimos ahora era nada más como a manera de que abriéramos un poquito el vocabulario y vieran cómo clasificar, ¿verdad? Las palabras para eh, oportunidades, amenazas y hacer el propio de ustedes. Okay. There you go. Gracias. Okay. Okay. Bye. Entonces empecemos con las fortalezas. This is my my first and my second witnesses. Um, the second for the another one. The witnesses, witnesses, así lo van a dejar. Por parte, perdón. Eh, teacher, fíjese que a mí me... Taleza, pero de, como debilidad sería con, con las personas, digamos así, con las pequeñas empresas. Mm -hmm. Si quieren, pongámoslos en, 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 en lo otro. Pero sí tendríamos que sacarlo de, de las fortalezas. Entonces. Vamos a ganar. Si, si quieren, saquémoslo de acá y pongamos otra acá. Ok. 
אוקיי. Cristina, si quiere, quítalo de acá, de, de las fortalezas. Lo dejamos, lo, lo van pendiente, ¿a dónde lo vamos a ajá, poner? Ajá, ajá. También, eh. I think that other uh, strains is, maybe we call, uh, make a strategic business alliance with local farmers. Es decir, que podemos hacer estrategias con agricultores locales, porque como estamos hablando de productos naturales, ¿verdad? Entonces, como, de temporada. Ajá, como para hacer estrategias sí, sí. de negocios para tener como precios competitivos, por así decirlo, con los with the supplier. Esta no será oportunidad. Y oportunidad. Mm, yes. Puede ser, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, si quieres, pongámoslo en oportunidad y vamos uh -huh. aquí. Y si no, pues después acomodamos. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Vale. Eh, um... Díctemelo. Okay, we could call make a strategic business, business. I strategic business alliance, 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 alliance. No, con eh, dos, con, con doble L. L. Ajá. Uh -huh. With local, local, doble eh, ith, with, no, 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 el with. Ah, ah sí, sí, sí. With, with, ajá. Ajá, local eh, farmers. Prefieren okay, para público, quizás un poco mayor. Mm, ahí va a depender, digamos, como la especialidad que se puede hacer. Pero, pero a los niños le gusta la pizza de jamón, por poner un ejemplo. Oh, sí, déjenmelo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Especially. Are, what is the range of the consumers? Um, the consumer. In the range of, I don't know, 15 years old to uh, 65, I don't know. Yeah. For example, I think so it's cool. Who is the consumer? Um, um, the 
fun. Maybe. I think it's the people um, who like more artisan pizzas than than the. Um, comment that make it with oven. Is what I'm wondering. That's what the the idea. Um. No, the the contain the example the example for example is the in the street i another uh, natural and fresh ingredient for example mm, this yes. is a uh, strength yeah yes. i really i very good uh she says the swat it, yeah the swat well we have to Take this one. Uh, I will share my my four ideas and YouTube. Okay. You, you to put your four ideas. What is that? Is a strength? Is a opportunity? This is the strength. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. To test it. Um. Comparación with the synthetic drink. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, pues sería on. No me deja. Eh, okay, entonces the price is expensive. Oh, dan, dan. Ajá. Cristina. It's more expensive. You may you may go to this arrow that you have to your to your left. Uh, open the arrow in the um, in the diagram that you are working. Do you see the arrow? Mira la flechita. Ahí puede hacer los cambios. Uh, la, mira uh, esta fle, esta, la flechita. La flechita estaba a, a la par por donde está el anaranjado y el verde. Ajá. Vaya, ahí hay una flechita en blanco, en un cuadrito blanco. Hágale clic ahí. Ah, ya lo encontré, no sabía. Ok, gracias. Ok. Ah, yeah. pero ese I es know. un lápiz. No, no, no. Eh, sí. Yo digo aquí adentro en su, en su sistema, en su, uh, en su pantalla, ¿verdad? Ajá. Vaya, en la página, en el slide que usted está creando, usted está creando un diagrama de flujo, entonces... Uh, perdón, uno, uno de listas. Sí. Entonces, a la par hay una flechita. A ver, póngale clic encima. Eh, ajá, eh, es un smart. Ajá. No, no, no. Ajá, exacto, no, adentro. Ad en el... Mire en el slide. Ahora, sí. véngase al cuadrito donde tiene las strengths and opportunities. Mira en medio de esos dos cuadritos, a la mitad de la línea del borde que está aquí a este lado izquierdo. Mira usted... Ajá. El, una flechita, no, 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 no es en el menú, no es en el menú, ahí, hey, thank you, thank you, yes, there, ajá, no, no, <risa> ajá, no, 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 se movió la flechita, se movió, se movió, no sé a ver, pasó, pero... vamos a, a ver, ver. Mire, mire, vamos a hacer lo que hizo, ajá, vaya, vaya, dele pues, <risa> Hágale clic otra vez al cuadrito acá, al cuadrito, eso, vaya. Ahora, ¿quién hizo esta, esta ruedita celeste? Uh -huh. verde? 
Pásela donde ¿Qué? debe, eso, vaya, ahí dele clic, mire, en esa flechita. Aquí. Ajá, dele clic. Okay. Ahí, ahí usted puede Mucho hacer todos los fácil. cambios. Exacto. Sí, gracias. Vaya, vaya. Ok, buy the price is expensive. Eh, the correct, I believe, is the price is more expensive than ah. es lo que vimos en el, en el bueno, nosotros ah, en el sí. módulo pasado. Ah, okay. Correct, comparative, yes. It, ajá, it's more expensive than T-H-A-N T-H-A-N T, T, perdón, ¿qué? Ah, es que, ¿qué? Ajá. Ajá. Dan, eh, lo que dijimos abajo, synthetic, soft drink. Espera que me comí la H. Uh -huh. No puedo borrarlo. <risa> ya no puedo borrarlo. Y le ponemos soft drink, igual que el otro, ¿verdad? Mm, yes. Drinks. Uy, ok. Eh, um, uy, no sé cómo se borra. <ríe> Quiero ver si con este... Pues ya sabemos cómo es la flechita, pero vamos a ver si... Quiero ver si con este lo puedo borrar. Ah, sí. sí. Yes. Vaya, entonces ahora me voy aquí. Vaya, ¿tienen otra oportunidad? Pensemos en otra oportunidad porque solo tenemos una. Y así nos quedamos dos cada una. The opportunities. Um, May, uh, eh, eh, ajá. <ríe> <¿Dónde>? <ríe> yo tenía, bueno, yo había hecho tres de cada una. Eh, tenía dos. Uno que no era como un producto común a nivel industrial, porque sí podemos encontrar como refrescos naturales en todos lados, pero no a nivel industrial. Y el otro de que podríamos... Eh, expandir como sabores fácilmente porque hay una gran variedad de frutas pero no sé ¿qué les parece? Uh, uh, no the, the flowers eh, ahí hay dos oportunidades en realidad ajá la variedad de frutas pongámosle primero y después vamos con la otra ok eh, I send the, the... To the chat, <laughs> teacher say that I can send. Uh, okay. Sí. El producto se puede crear a partir um, de products. Ya lo envié al chat. The menu. Ajá. The menu. Cristina, yeah. go to the chat and zoom, open it up, uh -huh. pop it up. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. There is a message there. Ay, esto no me deja. Okay. Vamos. Ahí está. Ahí está. Vaya. Eh... Teníamos una más, ¿verdad? En Opportunities. Yes, because Ana Lorena said that she had two. So we were waiting for the other one. Yeah. Combination. Of flowers. Okay. There. The is it? Vamos a ponerle. Slash promoto attach facilitate soft drink. Rosa del Carmen, if you want to send it through the chat so she can just copy and paste.
activities y opportunity. Ah, combinación de sabores. For me is opportunities. What? This. I agree. It's opportunity it's, for uh, growing. Yes, for growing. It's mm -hmm. the same with the other. Uh, ah, sí, esa sí era, sí era opportunity. Sí. Más pequeña. Tenemos que hacerla porque <laughs> se va el otro. No, no, no. The pro, uh, go, go right up. I mean, scroll down, scroll down in the diagram where you are writing. Ahí donde usted está metiendo el texto. Váyase hasta abajo. Váyase um, hasta abajo. Ahora dele backspace porque cada vez que hace un puntito le genera una, un cuadrito. Otra, ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Ajá. Lo que tiene Ahí. que hacer es no darle enter para abajo Ajá. porque si no le va a crear otro cuadrito. Genera otro, otro cuadro. Pero para que me lo... Es que si le doy... Ah, ok. Así. Ajá. Ok. <ríe> Expensive. Vamos a ver, eh, trade price. Ya vi que mental, mentalidad de tiburón. Yes. <risa> ok. De una. Déjame ver qué le ponemos aquí. ¿De slogan? Yes, but... Ahí está. Ok, Um, hey guys, instead of cold, it sounds better if you uh, say it cool. Yeah. Oops. Sorry? Instead of saying cold, it I think, I don't know if you agree, but you could say life cool. Cool. Uh, keep because your life you, cold. Yes. Uh -huh. Instead of cold, you can say it cool. Yeah. C-O-O-C-O-O-L instead of cold. Cool. Yes. Uh-huh. Cool. Mm, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, of course. No problem. No problem. This is for free. This is for free. Hide it. Hide it. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> Hire. There you go. And, and a presentation. Cool. Este, Rafa. Rafa. De genial. Thanks. Yeah, but at the same time, it means cool. Yeah, uh, cool, like, uh, yeah, but also cool. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Solo nos falta the name of the company. Marcus <laughs> Nelson. No. Um... Es about, podría ser como sabor, algo Ay, como eh, es, sabor, un momento, no, dale sabor, algo así, no sé, es como un momento, un momento que tienes con el sabor de la minuta, no sé, algo relacionado. <risa> como... <risa> Like a contrast, right? Um, Hot and fresh or something. The, the tasty minuta. La minuta sabrosa. Ah, es bueno. Um... 
todos saben el nombre. Uncus <risa> Nelson. Raise your hand if you think it's a good name. <risa> Falta el el eslogan, el Rafa. <risa> eh, keep your tie cold with flavor. Sugirió la teacher que sustituyera. Hey, the word cool, cool, cool. Delete. Cool. Ah, ok. X. Yes. Okay. The name, the wrong. Minutas, Edwin. ¿Ah? O la inicial de todos Salvador and Brand okay, Salvador and Brand Okay, my dear students, now we are going to start with the um, presentations, okay? You may share your screen and start the presentation. We are going to go in order just as the uh, numbers of the group. So first group, number one, okay? Number one is formed by Ana, Lorena, Cristina, Fatima, Karen, and Rosa, okay? It's your turn, it's your time, two minutes, come on. Cristina, please share the screen. <laughs> Okay, um, our product is farmer juice. It's a natural drink, a new natural drink. The uh, strength is, this product is healthy in comparison with the other. And this product is for all age because it's healthy. The witnesses is the shelf lifetime of the products are short because it's natural and the price is more expensive than synthetic soft drink uh, because uh, is, uh, the ingredient is more difficult for handling and this uh, the last witness really is a uh, strange but uh, is se nos movió la presentación, sorry, but the strength is the combination of the flowers because uh, how many options of fruit. The opportunities is we call make a strategic business alliance with the farmers because it's natural 
um, flower can be expanded as easily because how many uh, fruit for shoes and it's not common in industrial level because uh, the most common drink is a synthetic and the treat uh, for this product is a large amount of adverse sizing for a synthetic soft drink is very large uh, for this reason is more popular and the variation of ingredients price because uh, it depends the uh, no sé cómo decir que tan buena esté la cosecha. <laughs> okay, depending on the uh, harvest. The depending harvest. on the harvest. Mm -hmm. Depending on the harvest. Okay, is only. Do you have questions? <laughs> okay, people, now it's your turn, everybody. What do you think about this product? Is it a good idea? Well, actually, it's their idea, right? It's their idea. Uh huh. What do you see here? What about the weaknesses? What about the threats? What do you think, guys? Do they visualize the things correctly? As you, well, it depends on your opinion, right? Okay. Les ponemos el cien. A ver, todos con emoji ahí, por favor, con reaction, pónganle carita feliz o like. A ver, todos. Eso. Yay, well done. Good job, guys. Good job, girls. Mm -hmm. I think it is correct, guys. I think it is correct. And my feedback is that... Uh, <clears throat> this is your first encounter. <clears throat> Maybe you are going to go in the process while we go through the whole module. You are going to see some things that right now you aren't seeing. So at uh, the moment, I think you have done a very good job. Okay, great job. Thank you very much. Now we are going to listen to the next group. Carlos Alberto, Edwin Quinteros, Eulice Torres, Jose Salvador, Nelson Alberto, Rafael Alexander Serna, please. Your two minutes. You may start. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, we, can. we We buy uh, a minutas. Uh, this the the minutas uh, with the consumer. Uh, we think uh, everyone can enjoy the flavors of our product. And uh, why do you think people will consume consume this product? Uh, the people want something cool and delicious. And we provide a lot of flavors for for they enjoy the summer, the summer season. And what type of containers would you use? A bioplastic glass and a plastic spoon. Uh, how are your products different from each other? Uh, we have uh, many tropical flavors. Uh, free pieces and we have a promotion the fifth minute fifth minuta is free <laughs> <laughs> okay guys uh -huh. i like that offer uh -huh. i like that offer that's an introductory right introductory okay uh my my feedback right here is that we should from the group one and two we should uh we should care we should care about the plural and singular i think that's the most difficult part in english because we have a different concept of number but we have to care about that because of the conjugation of verbs, okay? 
So at the moment, I have seen that you have followed the stages of the product development process. You answer correct questions and you gave good answers to the questions. So I think you did a good job. I think you did a good job. And also uh, my suggestion is that you can get, if you see right there behind your, behind your, your banner, you have a way to express everything you said, okay? There you go. Okay. You can have it as a sample. And I love the, that uh, that offer like a sample, giving a sample the first time, right? The first time. Maybe it's going to be in a size, I mean, in a mini size. Yeah, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. No creo que vayan okay. a dar el de tamaño familiar gratis, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> but look at the price but look at the price guys would you pay one dollar and 75 cents for a minuta would you okay it, it seems like it's going to be like uh-huh it has like mango on it or something yeah fruit apples uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah it seems like that uh -huh. and also with the paletita uh -huh. exactly <laughs> but i like i like those the lipstick uh -huh. Los pinta labio. okay people so thank you very much you did a very good job a ver todos calificamos a este grupo tienen alguna pregunta do you have any question if you don't have any question please like there you go mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. a ver contemos cuántos like a ver quién va ganando who is winning ajá yo creo que el grupo uno va ganando todavía con los like en el al primer grupo todos le dieron like así como para decir no va a hacer preguntas si no me van a preguntar a mí ok <laughs> so let's go for let's go for the next group will be the next presentation is uh, the group number three, Blanca, Josman, and Nancy. Okay, teacher. Okay, view the. Samira? Not yet. Okay. No, yes. Um, yes. Okay. And. Um, we produce our product, the selection is the pizza. Uh, the description is uh, our product like consists of uh, artist baked pizza made with organic product. In the streets, uh, variety the menu, natural and fresh ingredients, experience to make artists and pizza. Uh, and the witnesses, it's not a good knowing brought on the national level, it's not facile to serve a customer. And opportunities, social media culture, and co-branding with the, the uh, co-branding with delivery apps, and the treats uh, increase the raw material costs and competitor taxes prices. This is the snow, the our produce, the pizza. Okay, that's a very good product too. It's a really attractive product. It has a cost of production, I think, kind of high. But if you mm, think later about the marketing strategies, I think it's going to be a very good product to offer. And the strengths I, I see, the strengths that I see is the natural, right? Natural and fresh ingredients, because that's our new concept stay healthy, stay fit, okay? The variety in the menu, okay? The variety in the menu. So you have different flavors, good. Hmm. And well, so you are going to have small facilities. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you don't have, okay, a good knowing about the brand. Mm -hmm. Oh, the brand positioning, right? You are on the way yeah. too. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you did really a good job, guys. You did a, a good job. So the, um, 
the scar people say did you like it do you have questions do you have questions for your partners for your classmates a ver los likes Ah, there we go. There we have some likes. Vayan echándoselos a la bolsa. Okay, there you go. Ahora dígales, Josman, please subscribe to our channel. ¿Verdad? Así va. Vamos a ver. Next group and the last one. Okay, thank you very much, Josman. You did a good job. You did a good job. Uh, vamos con el uh, group four. Carlos Eduardo, Carlos Ernesto, Glenda, and Jose Miguel. Okay, this is our company, fast biker delivery. You buy it, we carry it. So the first question, uh, who is the consumer? Our kinds of consumer are the different company and their consumer are individual for each one. So we, we got to present our analysis about the service of delivery. Uh, I don't know who is read the first. The threats. Okay. okay, the threats. The threats. Low prices from our competitors that can reduce delivery order for our service. High gasoline prices. This means that we don't have profits when delivering orders. Problem with car drivers than motorcycle, motorcycle drivers can get hurt and the government can add taxes to the delivery application that makes us also have to increase their rate. About the opportunities, innovative products and service are always in demand, making this available to the customer gives you the opportunity to out muscle your appointment and also, if you are the fast biker delivery, your company will also come your way in the form of innovation. This is kind of similar to the innovation of the best seller around the market. You see a fast biker delivery in the company or in your company, your ability to invent and innovate, innovate will propel your development service company to new heights. And the fast, fast, the fast bike delivery, you can have a efficient synergy between your company and your products. Can can be a, a potential to development yourself. Okay. So we talk about the time, right? And uh, the opportunities. Mm -hmm. the opportunity for the companies. Mm -hmm. Weaknesses. First, limited capital. Providing only the transportation service without production does not mean that this will not generate cost. Second, the employees of fast biker delivery only work as a part-timers and in between jobs, people do some jobs. Whenever they get a better opportunity, they immediately leave the, the, the delivery job. It is because of longer hours, low routine, fewer wage, and risk of being exposed to all kinds of weather. All right. Mm -hmm. So you have to work for a, a overstep that, right? Mm -hmm. The weaknesses. All right. Thank you very much. You did really a good job, guys. Everybody, uh, please, your score. Do you Did you like this presentation? Please like. like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. It was really, really a good presentation. Yes, and with effects, right? With effects. Okay, people, we need to, uh, we really need uh, 
to practice the plural and singular uh, agreement with a verb. There is a topic in this module that we are going to see that. Ahorita ya nos tenemos que ir fijando más en eso. En el agreement o en el acuerdo, o sea, que vaya correctamente el verbo correcto, el auxiliar correcto con el sujeto correcto, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que ir ya pensando en singular, en plural. ¿Cuál es singular? Uso las formas singulares. ¿Cuál es el plural? Uso las formas plurales. Ayer se, se me fue un gol que no sé, no sé ni por dónde realmente en mi mente estaba yo que es, eh, cometí ese error y, y de veras que no me pasa, sinceramente no me pasa, ¿verdad? Porque es, para mí es un pecado capital, <ríe> para mí, ¿ok? Eh, pero eh, ya les hice ahí la aclaración, ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes también, por favor, sigan ese ejemplo, el ejemplo de no cometerlo, ¿ok? Vale. Vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos ya, vamos a pasar la lista así rapidito, rapidísimo. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana, Blanca present. Jennifer Torres de Martínez, digan presente y yo voy diciendo. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Presente. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Presente. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Presente. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Carl Cristina Edith present. Ramos Ríos. Ok, thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Eulice. Present. Okay. Present. Thank you, Eulice. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Nelson Alberto Pérez. Present. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Raúl Ernesto González, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez, eh, José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Ok, los invito a ver los videos eh, que dejamos grabados de las clases. Eso les va a ayudar, en vez de ver otros videos de inglés de otra cosa, centrémonos en aprender y, y en interiorizar el programa que estamos llevando, porque esto los va a llevar de verdad al éxito a comprender muchas cosas de gramática que después les va a ser mucho más fácil en el speaking. Así que los invito a que vuelvan a ver el video, los videos. Si ustedes tienen alguna laguna de los, las clases de los módulos anteriores, vayan, regresen, busquen ese video. Ustedes tienen acceso. Vaya, y la sesión uno a uno el día de hoy le toca a Mr. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda, ¿verdad? Entonces nos vemos el día. Ah, ¿está Carlos Ernesto? ¿Listo? Sí. Si sí, no se sé, quiere quedar la otra conmigo. semana, teacher. Estoy vale. mal ahorita. Oh, ok. Entonces, Carlos Francisco es el que sigue en la lista, pero ¿verdad que no está Carlos Francisco? Sí, está Carlos Francisco. Creo que no. Cristina Edith sigue entonces. A ver, Cristina Edith se quiere quedar. Ya, yes, teacher. Ok, yes, yes, bye. Entonces nos vemos, see you Monday. Go to the platform. Do the exercises. You have to finish unit one today. Bye, bye. Okay, bye. 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 Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a nice weekend. You too, bye. Teacher, no escuché que me mencionara Andalis. Hosman. Hosman, Hosman, Hosman. Ahorita le pongo, ahorita le pongo, Hosman. Ok. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay. There we go. Hello, teacher. Hello, Christina. <laughs> How are you today? How do you feel today? I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Great. Uh huh. I am. Uh, Preocupado, ¿cómo se dice? Worried. Worried. Worried for uh -huh. my pronunciation. Your pronunciation, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think is the most um, difficult part of pronunciation? Uh, I mean, do you or, or have you detected why you stop when you want to speak? Have you detected it? Uh, 
eh, es que eh, yo sé, por ejemplo, veo la palabra, sé lo que significa a veces, y escribirla también, pero cuando la veo y la tengo que leer, es como que, o oh, en mi mente, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo expresarla? Me es difícil, siento que a veces confundo las vocales. Ah, en la ya, yeah, ok, ajá. Ah, entonces tengo que practicar el alfabeto, ¿verdad? Exactly. You have to go back to the alphabet, but this is the problem. We are not going to say the alphabet with the name of the letters because the name of the letters are different to the sounds, sounds of the letters. For example, it's not the same that you say, right? Like letter P, the sound is What about the combination of letters, the linking letters? So you, it's not that you have to go and learn the alphabet. O sea, no es que usted va a ir y aprenderse de nuevo el alfabeto y, y irlo diciendo A, B, C, D, E, F, G, porque en realidad usted ya lo conoce. Usted lee muy bien, lee el español y lee el inglés. Independientemente, eh, usted vea, el, la palabra escrita, por ejemplo, lo que dice acá en mi, en mi background, usted sabe lo que está ahí, ¿verdad? Y sabe uh -huh. también, y sabe también gráficamente qué letras son. Entonces, lo que necesita conocer es el sonido de esas letras. Ahora, para eso existe una materia que se llama phonics, ¿ok? <risa> phonics. No sé si ha visto algún video de esas materias. No. Ok. Esa materia se llama phonics porque cada letra tiene su sonido diferente y en combinación con otras letras también hace un sonido distinto. Entonces, hay palabras que pueden tener la misma letra, pero se pronuncian completamente diferentes. Un ejemplo puede ser que nosotros lo que decíamos ayer, ¿verdad? De la palabra sit. ¿Se recuerda más o menos qué fue lo que dijimos en ese momento? En ese momento decíamos que aunque veamos que el verbo, ah, no fue ayer, creo yo, pero el verbo en pasado participio, ¿verdad? Eh, es con dos E. La regla dice que dos E, voy a pronunciar una E porque va a sonar como I, porque ese es el sonido, ¿verdad? De la, de, de la letra E. Entonces sería bin. Pero si, si yo lo, pronun lo pronuncio así, estoy diciendo esto. <risa> ¿Ok? Bien. Ajá. Entonces, esta es la única excepción para la pronunciación. Y lo vamos a pronunciar, pronunciar como que estuviéramos diciendo así. Sí. No, aquí no dice bin. Aquí, bin, aquí dice bin. Como que bien. estuviéramos diciendo esta palabra cuando decimos sit. Sí. Sit. Ajá. Sit. Sí. Bin, bin, pero este es bin, bin, es muy diferente, ¿verdad? Cada una de las vocales pues va a tener un sonido diferente. Entonces existe la materia que se llama phonics and sounds. Nosotros acá no la desarrollamos de esa manera como phonics completo, ¿verdad? Porque es una materia bastante amplia. Esta materia es, le voy a decir, lleva sus años de estudio. Porque incluso, incluso eh, los maestros que damos inglés, ¿verdad? Hay muchos sonidos que como en nuestro vocabulario o en nuestro idioma no existen, tenemos que practicarlos de una manera tal para que puedan ser, digamos, perfeccionados. Pero como no estamos para el nivel hasta allá, ¿verdad? Lo que usted necesita es un sonido para comunicarse. Entonces, mi sugerencia es que usted comience por saber que las vocales tienen dos sonidos, el sonido corto y el sonido largo, ¿ok? A partir de eso, hay unas reglas generales, digamos, generales totalmente. Entonces, si yo, por ejemplo, tengo las vocales, las voy a poner acá las vocales, aquí. Phonics and Sound estudia la combinación de sonidos, ¿verdad? E, I, I, O, U. Vale. Tenemos acá, realmente lo que da el sonido o la, el sentido a la palabra es la combinación de un blend, ¿verdad? De una sílaba que está compuesta por consonante y por vocal. Entonces, si yo voy a estudiar el alfabeto, 
yo voy a decir A-E-I-O-U, ¿verdad? Porque ese es el nombre de la, de la letra vocal, de Powell Sound. Pero como no es eso lo que yo necesito saber para poder pronunciarlo, ¿verdad? Mi primera experiencia o su primera experiencia debe ser conocer que el sonido largo es tal como se llaman ellas. ¿okay? A okay. es el primer sonido. I es el segundo sonido. I, oh. segundo. O, oh. mm -hmm. I, U. Tenemos estos sonidos. Esos sonidos son largos. ¿sí? Largos mm. porque tienen el siguiente, ¿verdad? E, I. Ah, o sea que hay como una combinación de dos, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir. Uh -huh. Pero es uno solo. E, I. E, I. Luego tenemos I. I. ¿Verdad? Luego tenemos I, es, o sea, la I de nosotros tiene dos sonidos, ¿ok? La I de nosotros ya sería el short sound. Luego, este sería I en el long. I. O en el long sound. En I es como que hubieran dos letras, ¿verdad? La I, okay. la I. I. Sí. Y ese siempre recuérdelo con su ojo, I, ¿ok? Luego, O, 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 cierra a oh. una U, ¿verdad? Oh. O, uh -huh. pero es una sola, O, solo que alargado. Bah, por eso se llama long sound. Y tenemos el otro que es U, 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 acordémonos por U. Luego tenemos los otros sonidos que son por short sounds. Entonces, el primer sonido sería E. Eh. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Luego el siguiente sonido sería a, ah. sí, a. Ah. Ya. Yeah. Es. Luego el siguiente sonido sería e, eh. e, eh. como que fuera nuestra i, e, eh. i, eh. i. Eh. Atrás. Ah, no me suena ahorita bien a mí. Imagínese. I, así. I, i. Ese sería el sonido acá. Luego la la o ya no sería una o. Ya sería una A, ¿ok? A abierta. Como A. A, exacto. Uh -huh. Ahora, el otro sonido corto que tiene la U es como cuando decimos up. A, A. Mire, cerrando acá, up. como caído. Up, 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 up. up. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, up. cuando decimos así, up. vamos a unir una consonante con una vocal para tener una idea. Esto es tener una idea nada más, ¿ok? Porque. Le, le voy a enviar un video para que conozca más a profundidad estos sonidos, pero es nada más una introducción para que pueda ubicarse ya en esos videos. Vaya, mire. Tenemos, por ejemplo, un blend sound. Un blend sound significa que yo voy a unir consonant and vowel, ¿verdad? Una consonant en una vowel. Lo que nosotros conocemos como va baby bobu, ¿verdad? Eso, ¿ok? Sería va, va otra vez, b, b, va, en va, ¿ok? Ajá, en va. O sea, no, nosotros no, en inglés, perdón, en inglés no lo vamos a decir como en español va de bibobu, ¿verdad? Que sería, o no vamos a decir bye, o no vamos a decir eh, b, sí, no, no lo pronunciamos así para aprenderlo a leer o para aprender el fonix, ¿verdad? El, el sonido, eh, sí, fónico. Uh -huh. O la fonación de ese sonido, ¿verdad? Que sería. Entonces, así, ¿cómo hacemos para ubicarnos? Nos vamos a ubicar con las palabras en donde existe ese sonido, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, eh, oh, vamos a ver. Um, no, ba as and bat, ¿ok? Ba, bat, ba, bat, ba, bat. Es un, este ya es un short sound el que estoy haciendo, ¿sí? Este ya es un short sound. Ahorita estos no los vamos a pronunciar, ¿ok? Estos se van para allá y estamos en los short sounds. Es que me imagino que hay reglas y aquí es donde ya complica la cosa, ¿verdad? Porque hay reglas para utilizarlas. Uh -huh. Pero esta es la introducción, digamos. Esta es la introducción. 
eh, las reglas van a ser cuando ya vayamos formando las palabras, porque ahorita es solamente el sonido corto de las vocales, ¿verdad? El sonido corto de las vocales le va a ayudar a usted a ubicarse donde vea una consonante con una vocal, ¿ok? Que es la mayoría de palabras, ¿verdad? Es la mayoría de palabras que tienen una consonante con una vocal. Uh, o sea, las sílabas, ¿verdad? Están formadas así. Entonces, usted va a ir avanzando a medida que vaya haciendo las uniones de, eh, de, de, perdón, de vocales. Porque le, déjeme decirle que las vocales es, sería lo máximo y sí le voy a enviar ese video, esa serie, es de los sonidos de las vocales. En español nosotros solo tenemos cinco sonidos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I, o. En inglés... ¿Sí sabe más o menos igual. cuántos tenemos en inglés? Son dos, los cortos y los largos. Va, estos son Ota. los primeros. Estos son ah. los primeros sonidos. Ajá, exacto. Por eso le digo que okay. esta es una introducción para que comprendan los demás. Por ejemplo, si yo digo bat, bat es un bate o puede ser un murciélago, ¿verdad? Uh, puedo decir bet, 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 bet es una apuesta, ¿ok? Puedo decir uh, bib, bib, el biberón, ¿verdad? De un bebé, bib, ah, bib. bib, ajá. Puedo decir, eh, vamos a ver una palabra con vos, mm, bop, así, bop, bop. Es como baby bop, ¿ok? Como un bop. Ajá. Entonces, eh, eh, bop, ahora, con... Pero no es, eh, esta, eh, no es solo ese, ese sonido como bo, no, es bop, ah, ah, mire, es bop. Ahora vamos a poner por acá con bu, a ver algo. Mm. Bu, como de susto. Bu. No, 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 bus, ok, bus. ¿Ve usted? Por eso dicen el bus, dice la gente, ¿verdad? Los, los latinos dicen el, el bus. Allá en los Estados Unidos así dicen el bus. Vale. Pero si se fijan los sonidos, vale. Bat, bet, bib, bop, bus. Si se fija, hay un sonido corto. Vale. Uy. Pero después usted va a ir. Es que si sí, la verdad que pronunciar a todos le va a, a mí me dice incluso hasta. Eh, Haciendo todos los movimientos, porque no son propios de nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? Nuestro idioma es tal como se escribe, así se pronuncia. Vale, de ahí vienen las combinaciones, ¿verdad? Las combinaciones son, eh, ah, bueno, ya no le dije cuántas, cuántos sonidos de vocales tenemos. Tenemos, ah. unos autores dicen 12, otros dicen 15, ¿ok? ¿Qué? Porque, sí, porque incluyen la letra Y, ¿verdad? Eh, en, en, en las vocales y la w, w que también es lo, lo, el sonido es u, ¿verdad? es como una vocal u, a pero este o como u, ¿verdad? entonces es necesario que si usted quiere profundizar en la pronunciación ya que lo detectó y lo desea que empiece por practicar este pequeño sonido mire el pequeño, o sea, el sonido corto de las vocales. Media vez usted empieza a diferenciar el sonido corto y el sonido largo. Ok, ya vamos en el camino. ¿Sí? Entramos <risa> al camino. Y ya okay. es como un gran paso dado, ¿verdad? Conocer el sonido corto y el sonido largo. Ahora, usted tiene que descubrir y buscar eh, en dónde, en qué palabras se usa con ese sonido, porque hay palabras que no tienen ese sonido, que son excepciones a la regla. Esa es una de las situaciones de inglés, que tiene una regla, pero tiene 40 mil excepciones, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que aprenderse las excepciones. O sea, eso es que uno ya quiere estudiarlo como tal. Pero para comunicarse, usted lo que necesita es conocer el sonido corto y largo de la vocal. ¿Ok? Para ir armando y cuando usted va leyendo, que okay, cuando usted va leyendo, váyase primero por el sonido corto. No funciona, ok, vamos a usar el sonido largo, dependiendo. Pero después, por ejemplo, 
Uh, si yo pusiera, mm, vamos a ver una palabra acá. Uh, but... A ver, espera, voy a buscar una palabra así. Solo para introducirla, porque siempre le voy a mandar el video, pero un video para que y se vea. que tienen una sílaba, siempre se ¿Ah? usa el corto, generalmente. Prácticamente, sí. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. Uh -huh. En estos que tenemos acá, por ejemplo, menos, pero, sí, ajá. sí, hay excepciones, pero en todo, en lo normal es que si la palabra solo tiene una vocal, corto. se pronuncia corto. Exactamente. Okay, okay. Ese es eh, un inicio, ¿verdad? Vale. Ya si tenemos dos, suena la primera y la segunda no suena. Hay excepciones. Okay. Suena la primera y la segunda no suena. Ok. okay. Va, eso es lo que quería llegar a decirle. Para eso es el inicio nada más. Es solo el inicio y se va a quedar usted pensando y se le va a hacer un gran globo. Entonces esperemos <risa> a llegar a esa para no confundirla, porque no quiero confundirla. Esto es una materia aparte, ¿verdad? Hmm. Vale, póngale que yo agregara una letra E, así. Bates, pero como tiene una Bates para la bata, batas, batas de los doctores, ok, o batas de batas. Eh, exactamente, ¿cómo lo voy a pronunciar? Si sí, ya tenemos otra vocal ahí. La primera suena, pero suena Pareciera con qué sonido. La segunda sonido? no suena, ¿verdad? No, la segunda no suena. La segunda no suena. Sí. La que sí. va a sonar es esta. ¿Y con qué sonido? Ya no sería con el corto, sino que ya sería con, con el largo. largo. Porque ya hay otra vocal. Entonces, esas son las cuestiones que hay que ir aprendiendo. Pero en realidad, vuelvo a repetirle, para comunicarse, Usted lo mejor es que imite los sonidos de acuerdo a la palabra en sí, como la he escuchado, ¿verdad? Porque eh, a veces lo que hacemos nosotros es que queremos verlo escrito. No, no es lo correcto. Hay que escucharlo primero, ¿sí? Hay que escucharlo. Ahora hay tanta facilidad para que usted vaya a un diccionario y le ponga cómo se pronuncia y lo imita. Imítelo, 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 ¿ok? Y que no se le vuelva a olvidar, úsela, use las palabras, ¿ok? Bueno, esto fue solamente una introducción a cómo usted puede ir mejorando. Esta materia se llama... Claro, un poco así como... Ah, como es, ajá, ya ve bueno. las palabras y es como... Ah, sí. Exactamente, son dos reglas generales. La primera es que todo para aprender, empezar a, para empezar a aprender a leer sería eh, saber, vocales tienen sonido corto, sonido largo. Uno, una consonante con una vocal, voy a hacer el sonido corto. Hago una, estas se llaman también blends, ¿verdad? Porque es una palabra de un solo, de una sola sílaba. Entonces, ya al unir consonante, vocal, consonante, suena corto, ¿ok? Ya si va una vocal más, entonces me pacto a largo en la primera y la segunda ya no suena, ¿ok? Exactamente. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <risa> ok, pero eso es, eso, ok, eso es si fuera como esta, en este caso, ¿verdad? Como una E, ¿verdad? Como una E, acá como una E, sería esa la regla. Luego, la siguiente sería de que no haya una consonante en medio y que se unan las dos vocales, sería la tercera regla básica, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ya no sería así como... Eh, vamos a poner, mmm, no se me ocurre ahorita ninguna, por Dios santo, como no estaba pensando en este tema realmente, <risa> pero sí es importante para su pronunciación. Mm, okay. No se me ocurre un, uh, vale, así, bail, 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 ajá, bail, oh, sí, bail, no me recuerdo qué significa, pero sí. Que es bastante ah, similar. Sí, sí. Bol. La fianza. Bol. Ah, ¿Al qué? ¿Al qué? Ah, bol. A lo bol. Ah, vaya. La W ahí. La W está funcionando como una U. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Entonces esas cuestioncitas así son las que va a ir usted encontrando. Pero sí le vuelvo a sugerir de que no, para comunicarse, no necesita todo eso para comunicarse. 
Ahora, ya para dedicarse o que su trabajo exija lectura, por ejemplo, en voz alta, o que exija eh, modelar el lenguaje ante alguien o dar un speech, por ejemplo, eh, si ahí es necesario, sí. ahí apuro tú. Pero para comunicarse con alguien, usted solo imite, imite cómo es el sonido, porque en algunas palabras es exactamente las mismas dos vocales, pero suenan distintas. Entonces, es mejor ir palabras eh, o por listas de palabras, ¿verdad? Por, okay. eso, por eso existe la materia, Phonics, porque tiene sus... Es sus, profunda. Eh, sí, la verdad que sí, y evoluciona, y evoluciona, uh -huh. igual que en español, igual que en español, por eso tenemos la RAE, ¿verdad? Por eso tenemos que nos regula el español para que diga esto es correcto y esto no es correcto, ¿verdad? Entonces, ellos allá también, ¿verdad? Los, los ingleses eh, se quieren tomar esa, porque de ahí depende el idioma, aunque el inglés americano es otro rollo distinto, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo le, le sugiero, ahorita ya tuvo una luz, pero eso es si usted quiere profundizar. Ahora, para comunicarse, Mira. necesita aprender las palabras, ¿ok? Usted imítelas, imítelas. Ya las conoce, ahora imita. Ese sería mi consejo, ¿verdad? Okay. Ese sería mi mayor consejo. Mena. Le voy a mandar una cancioncita. No se vaya a reír, oye. Vale. Voy, para que aprenda a diferenciar el short sound en long sound. ¿Ok? Es una cancioncita. Y esa okay. le, le va a dar toda lo que yo acabo de hacer ahorita acá. Lo va a ver ahí. ¿Ok? Okay. Ajá. Muchas gracias, la verdad okay. que sí, nunca había visto así. Sí, no, no, es, no tenía la idea de eso. Es porque nuestro curso es para comunicación, ¿verdad? Eh, pero con todo gusto, todos los teachers apoyamos, ¿verdad? Pero quizás no había hecho la pregunta a usted. Ajá. No, y es que fíjese que realmente... Mi colegio, yo estudié francés. Oh, totalmente diferente. Y entonces mi cerebro es un poco, a veces quizás yo pensaba que por eso me confundía con las vocales, Ajá. porque es como diferente, entonces es como ahí me costaba. No, no, ese es otro rollo, ese es otro rollo. Ah, tal vez pero es parte. como bien complicado porque como uno pasó tanto tiempo aprendiéndoselo, ahora es como otra cosa, bella. Sí, quizás no. Quizás yo pero... pensaba que por eso me confundía tanto, pero... Pero no, al verlo así, creo que es más claro. Ajá. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, hay, hay reglas de pronunciación. En todo, en todo idioma va a encontrar reglas de pronunciación. Pero sí es, es eh, bonito cuando eh, uno tiene el deseo de pasar de un punto al otro, ¿verdad? Es bonito. Uh -huh. y, sí, y la verdad. Gracias. Ok. Bueno, con gusto. Por ahí le va a llegar en el WhatsApp. Oye, okay. por ahí voy a andar cantando. Ajá, cabal, cabal, cabal. Así es. Y le voy a enviar la otra serie, un link. Es una maestra buenísima, eh, este, que, pero tiene que dedicarle su tiempito si usted quiere ir un paso más allá, ¿verdad? De los 15 okay. sonidos de las vocales. O de, sí, de las vocales, así se llama. The 15 Sounds of Vowels. Ok. okay. Muchas gracias. Con mucho gusto, con Una mucho gusto. <laughs> okay, then, have a very good night and good a night. very good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.